Good morning, welcome to the video. Today we have an indoor car boot sale. Well, they call it an indoor car boot sale. It's probably gonna be more like a tabletop sale, I think, but we will see. Let's get in there and have a look. And I've got here about 20 minutes before it's supposed to start, and either there's not much of a turnout, which would be great, or everyone's already gone in. So we will see. But let's get in there, see what we can find to resell for a profit on eBay. Let's go. Biocoast Flicks. Okay, so let's see if they're letting people in. Yeah, it's a pound to get in. I don't really know what to expect. It might be big, it might not. Oh, no, oh. you open? No, no, help. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How are you doing, UK? Are you, are you open yet? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. It's a pound, isn't it, to get in? Oh, brilliant. Cheers. Thank you very much. There's tables in the church to sit down. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. How much is this? My wife will be back in a minute. Right. It's quite nice, that. Yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? I'll come back round and yeah. see. Yeah, it's very cute, isn't it's it? A pound. <laughs> it's a proper one. Yeah, I can't say no at a pound. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll take that. Is that Simba? Uh, yes, yeah. 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 Unless it's from like the second film, maybe. No, but I think it's from the first. It's about, well, my daughter's 43. Thank you. Yeah. It's <laughs> not quite that old, obviously. Thank you very much. Thank you. I even got a little bit of bobber up in here. Let me see. I've got pins. Doesn't. I've got used um, it's about. I've, I, I, it wasn't supposed to be in here, but it is in here, so it's meant to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. I do like these paper weights. I see them. I see them around. Yeah. You can have the two of them. Two fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. I'll have some paper for them, please. Yeah, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you. This stall was selling these cars for £1.50 each or four to five pounds. And I've never seen these before out there. Cravers, French fries. Walker snacks, little toy cars. I think they're probably about 15 to 20 years old thereabouts, but not really worth anything these, so I wouldn't recommend picking them up, but I did, because I didn't know. Something I've never seen before. That one, will, that'll do. Okay. Thank you.
Jars here. Uh, Can I have a quick look at them? Yeah, Sorry, I'll just. Yeah, no Thank you very much. They're what? Sorry. They're Italian. All oh, right. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I just the one, please. Thank you. How much is this like? Um, ten. Ten. Yeah. Probably do eight on it, but certainly no less. No. So it's brand new. Yeah, sort of a something like that before. Yeah, it's quite right. cute because you don't have a cable, it's battery. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Kind of wish I'd bought that lamp. I think it would have resold well. I can't find any sold comps on it, but I don't think they make them anymore. And also, the second cookie jar there was chipped. That's why I didn't pick up both of those cat cookie jars. You're right. Um, Three on the, um, is it working all right? Do you know, or uh, I really needs a new battery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it for three pounds. Thank you. Everything on this table was only 50p. I've muted the volume here because there's some really loud music playing. Hi. Can I have a right? copy, two sugars, please? Sorry, copy. A, a copy, two sugars, please. Thank you. And milk, and milk. All right, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. So I'll, go, I'll go sweeteners, I'll be good. I'll be good. <laughs> just the one, just the one. It's all right. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Think, uh, Hey, you go. 
in. Thank you. You're going over there, down there. Morning. Morning. I'll take the tray, please. Is it one pound fifty as well? Uh, yeah. Nice that, isn't it? It looks like yeah, a, a Morris like print, that, doesn't it? Yeah. So it looks like it's got quite some age to it, doesn't it? But I don't, yeah. I don't think it has, but no, it's still, so. still very nice. But it's useful. Yeah. And I'm all about You're right. Um, the, you, there were two trays there. I had no idea, and neither did you. But <laughs> so there's the other 150. Thank you very much. Cheers. To have a little look in here, or Absolutely. I, I won't mess Just anything up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's one fifty. That's one fifty, and that's two fifty. Yeah, I'll, I'll take them all. In. Yeah. I'll have a look later they're, they're, and see what's in yeah. there. Three. Let's call it five, eh? Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Thank Excellent. you very much. Excellent. Thank I'll you. do a couple of trips out to the car. <laughs> So I've just loaded everything up. I've got these three boxes. She said she'd do them for five quid. Uh, the way I'm seeing it, I don't expect there to be anything greatly valuable in here, but it's a church sale. The money's all going to a good cause. And I just thought, you know, she just wanted to get rid of it. It probably would have ended up in the bin if, you know, she didn't sell it like this. And I thought, you know what, let's just give it a go. Five quid. I mean, there's bound to be something in here to get my money back. Go, yeah, the money's to a good cause, and you just never know. You never know. I love buying these like kind of random boxes of stuff like this because you just never know what you're going to find. 
So I'm going to go through that later and I'll show you anything that is worth mentioning. And I'm not going to throw anything away unless it's broken. Like this here is broken. I don't know what it is, but it's broken. It's going to go in the bin. Anything that's broken will go in the bin. Anything that can be used by somebody will be redonated to a charity shop. And then anything, you know, worth a little bit of money, I will resell. But on the right day, this is the, this is the kind of place you're going to find one of those random one-off things that's worth a lot of money. So that's the way I look at it. And it's a nice kind of first boot sale of the year for me right here to get me warmed up for the real ones that are coming soon and the people here are so nice like everyone's so nice and like happy like i'm not just saying that they just are and i got a free coffee how much left say two pounds i'll take that one please So just one item then from the last look round. I got this. Sometimes this Avon, these Avon like fragrances and some of the other stuff they do has a little bit of money in it. Sometimes two quid. And I'm always a bit hesitant to pick things like to pick fragrances up because I always think they're going to be fake. I don't really know how to tell the difference a lot of the time between the fakes and the non-fakes. And obviously there's a lot of fakes out there. Uh, but this, I mean, who's going to be faking Avon life right I don't think anybody will <laughs> two quid you know if I can flip it for a tenner profit that will do and if not I will keep it see what it smells like keep it for myself well let's hit a few charity shops shall we on the way home I think I'm going to go and hit a few that I've not been to in a long time yeah, check it out I have not been here for ages in fact I don't think I've been here this year at all until now so let's head in see what we can find Yeah, not been to this one for ages either.
Didn't find anything in the first two charity shops. Thought I'd head in here. And I did find one item which I purchased for £2.50, which is this. And I'm not too sure on this. There's not many out there. But I figured somebody out there, a Liverpool fan, would want this. These are both quite nice, the West German vintage with the pewter lids and there's just something about the quality of these, £2 each, I bought them both. Right, so I'm in Smith's Toys and I've mentioned this kind of thing before, so check this out. It's a free Z Blob plush toy when you buy any Dreams set. And look how much they're going for. So this is going for more if they still have any in stock, I'm thinking now, are they so much because they don't have any left? It's possible. I'm probably going to attempt this, so <laughs> we will see. But like the cheapest set, dream set, $16.99. It says any set, so $16.99 for that one. Is there a cheaper set? Because I don't want to be buying an expensive set. Although this one here is cool looking and it's reduced from 42.99 to 27.99 so i'm going to look these up see how much they resell for and if you know the price i can get for them is around the price i'm paying for it i'm then getting this plush you know for free my money will be made with the plush that's what i'm thinking and if all else fails i'll give it all to my kids because my kids love lego and i've mentioned this before like pikmin there was the Pikmin key ring thing with a video game and there was the Mario uh, Wonder toy. If you've not seen my previous videos, go and watch a couple of those previous videos. They're what sold videos, go and check them out. I mentioned this kind of thing. This is just one example of something else that's like that. You know, look out for these opportunities out there. This is probably a time sensitive thing. So maybe they're selling abroad where they're not, this deal is not happening. It's that kind of thing you gotta think about. But all else fails, you know, all you've done is bought a Lego set that you're going to be able to resell, get your money back, or give it as a gift to somebody. You're not going to be losing much, if anything, and best case scenario, you'll be making hopefully 30, 40 quid profit, all said and done. So yeah, I just asked somebody, and they do still have them in stock. Okay, so I've looked into these two sets here. Now this one is selling for as little as £11 plus postage on eBay, which, you know, I'm paying, I'll be paying 16 99 so I'm at a loss straight away buying that one. Uh, this one, though, seems to hold its money quite well. Um, it's going for about that price, 27 99 as low as, like, 25 plus postage. So, you know, if worst-case scenario, I'm losing three quid on it, that's okay, because we'll make the money up with the plush. And that's a, it's a cool set as well. Like, look at that set. That ain't cool, is it? There's not much about that, in my opinion, that's very good. Whereas this one, there's a lot more going on with it. Yeah, this whole, like, cactus guy, this whole truck thing. Um, yeah, this is a, a better set, in my opinion. So I've been looking at a few things here that are reduced. But these might be good, but not really. I've searched a lot of this stuff here. Uh, this though I think is just about worthwhile, seven quid. People have them up at about 20 to 22 pounds on eBay. So, you know, maybe a tenner profit after fees. Uh, these are all a fiver, which is not a bad price. I remember paying quite a lot for some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones for my kids. Uh, end of last year, we paid way too much for them. Uh, but they don't seem to have taken off these. So five quid, you could maybe split them all up and sell them singly if you really want to do that. I don't. Hi, I'm just wondering how much this is, please. 
There was no price on it and the manager wasn't there so they couldn't give me a price on it but I did actually buy this about 10 days later and that will be coming up in a future video. Are all the games pound? Is that one? It's just down here. Okay. Got some mugs in the window, like in a little it says coffee shop on it. Oh something. yes. How much are they, please? Yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, five. It says, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll take it for five, please. I'll just have a quick look at it yeah, first, five. though. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, I like it. Usual, is. isn't yeah. it? And no cracks in the mugs. <laughs> no, <that's it. laughs> they're always chipped or cracked or something, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, that's nice though, I like that. It is, yeah. Yeah, let's take that please. We've got three things from in there. We've got this, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. Now, it's both games on the same disc. I think that's a rarer thing, but don't quote me on that. Uh, there are a couple of little scratches on this disc, but I think it'll be fine. I'll give this one a quick test before I list it. But it was only a pound. Wilton cake tin. Some of these are good. We've just had Valentine's Day, so unfortunately this may sit for a while. But I don't know, somebody might still have this. It's quite unusual, that's why I bought it. Two quid. I wouldn't pay more than two quid on something like this. But check this out. This is possibly my coolest find today. Check out the wooden surround like that, coffee shop. These mugs are in really good condition. Proper old school, vintage lava glaze. The only thing missing is like a good brand. There's no good brand on them. They're made in Taiwan, so they're like a you know less desirable thing. But it's still, it's still cool. Look at that. Look at it. I'd have that on, in my kitchen. Yeah, I like that. Five quid, good price, I think. I think they just reduced it. He thought it was 10, so I think, I'm guessing they've just reduced it down. So how cool are some of these egg cups here and this mug here, the magic roundabout, but at three and four pounds, in fact, that one's six. No money to be made there, but it doesn't make them any less cool. 80s, I think, 70s, 80s on the most part, maybe a bit older on the Rupert one. It was a little bit later on and I have everything unpacked in front of me. I'm not going to go through everything because you've already seen most of it. But what I'm going to do is go through these boxes and just pick out anything that is decent. Uh, that wasn't in those boxes, that's from a charity shop. But I'm going to go through it all and in just a second I will show you what, if anything, is worthwhile. I'm going to do, I think, a box of... Uh, sell a box of bin and a box of redonate. So I'm going to get everything out of the boxes and then kind of put them back into the boxes. So I'll be back with you in just a second once I have done that. So I'll probably just show you a few bits as I go through. If there's anything like particularly good, I might show it you. Uh, this bag here is the first thing I've come across that's actually half decent and it will clean up pretty well. This there's no like peeling of the PU, oh, it might have, in fact I think it's actual leather, there was a tag here somewhere, I'm pretty sure it's actual, yeah genuine leather it says there, it's an M&S thing, Marks and Spencer, but anyway I just had a look in here and I found, not my first, but my second old £1 coin, like randomly I was given an old £1 coin as change from somebody today and now I've got another one, like weird i've not seen any of these old pound coins in years like years and years and i've got two so i'm giving one to one of my sons for this will go to the other one and yeah i think you can actually take these to the bank somebody said i mentioned it to somebody when i was out and they said oh you can still take these to the bank and they'll just give you a regular pound back i don't know if that's the case anyway let's just say that this is a pound right so i pay five pounds for these box three boxes and i'm got one fifth of it back with this pound and probably the rest of this bag right it's got to be worth more than four quid right this bag so we're doing well let's carry on i'm not going to keep stopping it every two seconds 
just I just looked and saw this pound coin I thought I will let you know about the pint, pound coin uh, situation uh, there's nothing else in here but hey maybe we'll find some more cash amongst all this kind of trash a lot of it's kind of trash Got a little pile of rubbish behind me going on anyways let's carry on so I'm onto the second box so far this is what I am keeping and a little bit on the floor this is donating I know you're not going to, be able to see it very well I'll show you properly a bit later. Um, and then this box here which is half full is trash it's just utter rubbish like it's all just like just random random stuff damaged like really badly broken like mugs and all sorts of just rubbish basically should have gone in the bin but why do people not check their like bags and purses and wallets and stuff before they throw them away look this wallet or purse it's purse has a pound a regular pound this time not a old pound but there you go so for two pounds we've got two pounds back on the five already uh anyway i don't think there's anything else in here It'd be good if we found a note to be honest if i found anything like if i did find a note i'd probably go back to the church and stick it in their collection box or something so yeah only just started on the second box of three so wish me luck hopefully we can find some more decent stuff there's a few bits here worth mentioning which i'll mention in a minute but for now let's keep going so i have been through everything now and yeah we we have a lot of junk check this out this big box full here is completely full of trash this is all no good it's not even worth donating like just odd broken things like a load of broken mugs broken glasses bits of material um just broken things and just like bits of this and bits of that like literally just utter it all just should have gone in the bin it all should have gone in the bin like there's nothing in there that anyone's really going to be able to use just a load of odd things in there uh, this stuff here is all going to be donated and possibly a few other things as well uh, but this stuff in here you know it's nothing wrong with it it's just uh, you know dog plates uh, uh, no. uh, for some reason I've got a million and one ice cube holders like there's loads in here uh, dog bowls ink printer ink like non branded stuff DVDs that are not worth anything yeah there's stuff that in here there's like a load of glasses and stuff that people can use but on the most part nah not worth it for me so there are a few things here that I'm going to ask Claire when she gets back, she's out at the moment, like whether we want to keep them or not. I think I already know the answer to most of it, but things like this, like picture frames, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't particularly like it, I thought maybe she would, I don't think it's worth selling it, so either we keep it or we donate it. And there's a few other things here like that. There's this, like why would you not want a giant inflatable microphone, I'm going to keep that for a future birthday party I think. Uh, this right here is all right it's by a brand called henry willig this is a cheese grater it's got a nice ceramic handle the box is a bit broken but i reckon we can get at least a tenner for that some people have them up as high as 20 quid we got a load of costume jewelry here like loads and loads of it like i kept finding it in all three boxes bits and pieces and then i found this tub full of it as well uh, there's some stuff in there that could potentially be valuable by itself. I will have a quick look through. In fact, I'll probably give it to Claire and let her have a look through. She's got more of an eye for this kind of thing. But generally speaking on the whole, I'm going to sell the whole lot together as just one bulk lot of costume jewellery. Won't be asking a lot for it. Just clear it off. Uh, Hornsey, we even got a piece of Hornsey. I think it's just a sugar bowl, no lid. So, you know, but... Hornsey, Hornsey. We've got a couple of like ceramic bells. Is there money in ceramic bells? I have no idea. There's a few things here like that. We've got these three knives and they're all British Airways branded, look. I've never seen them before. I don't know if there's much money in them. I, I would guess not, but I think there's a bit of age to them at least. Just three knives, there's no forks or spoons or anything else. But I have found this, which I'm pretty sure is silver or at least silver plated. I'm not going to be able to get a good zoom in on the hallmark here, but there it is. It's, it's 
it says D and A. I looked it up and I think it dates to the early 1900s. It's just one random fork like that. What is that? Is that a salad fork or I don't even know these kind of like bits on the end. We got some of these piano arrangements. There's a few like vintage looking ones down there. This one I've had a quick search of and seems to be a little bit of money in it. 